secretly, everybody enjoyed it. <laughs> Surprisingly, this is a movie. It was released nationwide, shown in theaters, and because it has a $50 million box office content today, making it the fourth highest grossing film in the year 1972. I know, I have to Google it too. Behind the green door were made by the infamous Mitchell brothers. They started out shooting X-rated film and showed them in their own theaters. Prior to this film, they have no notable work, and it shows. If I say Deep Throat is a standard porno level production, then Behind the Green Door should be somewhere in the America's Funniest Home Video level. So why is it such a triumph? Look at this poorly angled shot. Snapping turtles, your name is Mrs. She was a girl used to come down and miss her. Girl come down and Sarah Rosenberg, yeah, I remember now. So she'd come down the beach. Okay, that shot was actually pretty neat. But you cannot deny that shot is not focused. She said, let me go, let me go. I said, no, I said, I can't swim. She said, you're a lifesaver, aren't you? I said, no, I said, I can't swim. I came here to eat. What's the matter with you? Please, don't let me go. It's all about the girl, isn't it? <clears throat> the way that this, they got a hold of the, this, this story was, I can't, I don't know if it was the Korean War or what, but in the trenches, the guys would pass around this, this paper, <clears throat> and each guy would put down would add on to the fantasy. Um, it's a fantasy of a woman that go, that's kidnapped, or taken against her will, I should say, and taken to this very exotic, erotic, elite sex club and loved as she's never been loved before. One of the things that definitely was added to the whole hoopla <clears throat> was something that I had forgotten to tell Jim and Art. And that was one day I, I was thinking about it and I said, you know, I forgot to tell you this. I, you know, I used to be a model in New York. And, you know, when I was 17, I shot a, a soapbox for Ivory Soap. <laughs> and they said, well, yeah, go on. And I said, I was the mom on the box holding the baby. <laughs> and they said, oh, really? Well, when is this supposed to come out in the shelves? I said, you know, I, I think it's, they said it was going to take about two years to take the old picture off the box and the new picture on the box, which would be mine. And I think it should be coming out just about now. <laughs> and there you have it, Maryland Chambers, American's sweetheart turned adult film star. That kind of stories that we all sort of heard of, but were never able to put a face to it. Anyway, as she said, inside of this exclusive private cup is where the shit hits a fan. References, uh, John Stewart. Wait, what? And hit the fan, it really did. The movie kept it PG-13 for like the first 16 minutes, and basically everybody is naked for the next hour. And the absurdity is just over the roof. By comparison, Fifty Shades of Grey looks just like Babe to pick in the city in front of behind the green door. If you have seen it, you must know what I am talking about. And if you haven't, pursue with caution. Only if you are 18 years and older, of course, so I won't spoil it here. <laughs>